so it really looks like a nugget golden brown and you develop this menu yes absolutely and this is with coconut rice coconut rice 100 percent chicken zero percent death Hey everybody, it's uh, Chef Kaimana, Chef Ambassador. Eat just with your history making delivery from Food Panda. Can I come in? Can. Awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We at Eat Just have partnered with Food Panda to do our history making one of a kind first delivery of cultured chicken. And we have a few gifts for you. Along with your delivery is this cool Google Cardboard. You're gonna put it in your phone and you're gonna watch a cool 360 video that tells you a little story, a little bit about good meat. And today I've prepared for you a quintessential Singaporean dish, chicken rice, good meat style. Yeah, so we have our cultured chicken bites, a little bit of pak choy. We have coconut and sesame rice and some edible flowers and micro shiso and greens. Wow, so beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed and let us know what you think. Yeah. All the way from Good Meat, Aloha. delivered history in my house wow this is cultured chicken yes so cultured chicken is where we take a single cell from a chicken we take that cell we put it in a very sterile clean environment and we feed that cell basically the nutrients that you know a live chicken would eat we feed that cell it doubles in size and doubles in size and eventually after a few weeks, it grows into a very sort of soft ground chicken meat. And the first product we're releasing or we've been approved for in Singapore is this chicken bite. The breaded, so you have the moist chicken in the inside and then you have a wonderful crispy panko crust on the outside. Wow. This single cell produces unlimited amount of meat. Absolutely. Wow, that's... It's, Food technology, like yes, you know, yes. it's, it's amazing because it's first in the world and it's it's first launched here in Singapore. Absolutely, granted with regulatory approval to be sold yeah. here in Singapore. Wow. Yeah. Lately, there's been trends for vegetarian and vegan. Yes. You know, things are going plant based because that's you know the the future. Just a question for a lot of the viewers here: Is this halal? Yeah, so of course the process of it becoming halal is a process that we're going to explore. We haven't done it yet. Again, we just received regulatory approval at the end of last year. While we're definitely going to explore that, right now we are still sort of researching the process to go through it. And I'm sure a lot of people would also ask, is this vegetarian or vegan? Yeah, so it's not. So actually, cultured chicken is real meat. It's clean meat. It's free of antibiotics and growth hormones. So under a microscope, it's exactly chicken. So it's like the cell was taken from a healthy chicken without the need to kill Absolutely. an animal. Absolutely. That's amazing. And just a curious question. So since it came from out of a cell, how is the texture like? Imagine like a very, very soft ground chicken, right? Like that you would use to make dumplings or dim sum, but it's a very soft chicken. So then we basically add our mung bean protein blend, our propriety blend to bind it and make the chicken nugget. So it's about 73% chicken cells and the rest is our sort of plant-based blend to keep it together. If you were gonna make any burger or nugget, you would have to add something to bind it and mm -hmm. hold it together. So that's exactly what's inside. I think that chicken is the best first choice of meat to start off with this experiment because like if you're gonna make pork or beef I think it's gonna be harder to imitate the texture so I think chicken is really a good start yeah and absolutely it's right chicken is eaten on every continent almost in every single culture it's really one of those ubiquitous proteins in the world and it's very adaptable to flavor and cooking styles and eating this without killing a single animal that also means that you don't need chicken feed and you don't need to cut down forests so it's like reducing the carbon as Absol well. absolutely reduces the carbon footprint 
personally, I'm just curious, like, how long does the process take? It takes about two weeks to grow from a single cell to yield a few kilograms of the chicken meat. This is really fast and cleaner, more sustainable, Absolutely. more ethical way of feeding the world right now. So it's a really brand new concept. So I'm really excited to taste this. Just one question, as a chef, is this something that you would really use uh, in, in restaurants and in the menu? Yeah, I think absolutely. The generation today, one of the amazing things that this generation has brought, especially to the food industry, is a demand for more transparency, right? People want to know where our food is from, what's in our food, how did we make it? So I think being able to serve something like this, which again, reduces carbon footprint, better for animals, a little better for our bodies, absolutely better for the environment, I mean, why not, right? And it's non-GMO. Absolutely. Right now, where is this available? So right now we're launching here in Singapore, the only country in the world that has granted regulatory approval. And uh, we've launched with an amazing partner called 1880. We're in the middle of the deliveries, obviously, uh, with Food Panda, an amazing partner as well. Then soon we're gonna be at our next stop, which is gonna be the JW Marriott. Stay tuned guys. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below on how you can have a taste of this through Food Panda. Yes. And currently for Food Panda, what are the yeah, dishes? Yeah, so we, we have again our, our take on uh, fried chicken and rice. We have a chicken katsu curry, one of my favorite Japanese dishes. And then for something a little bit more fresh, we have a chicken Caesar salad with a plant-based Caesar dressing. Just light and fresh. But this one I got is the fried chicken and rice. Yes. I'm gonna start digging in because I can't wait to see <laughs> how it really tastes like and how the texture is like. So, okay, let's start with that. So it really looks like a nugget, golden brown. And you developed this menu. Yes, absolutely. And this is with coconut rice. Coconut rice. But I'm here for the chicken. So yes. let's let's dig in. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it just tastes like chicken. It's chicken. Hundred percent. Chicken, 0% death. Texture and taste is chicken. Wow, I'm amazed. Awesome. Like from a single cell. I mean, this is grown in the lab. It's a first for me. You're literally within our first 50 deliveries in, in the world, wow. you could say, right? And the awesome thing now is that we we do harvest and produce our chicken uh, in a food manufacturing facility. It's awesome, it's, like, it's where your food is from. This is amazing. Mm. Hey! Great job. Thank you. It's happening now. And I can see it like in the future. More and more things like this. And just the, these small things, you know, to save the planet is really a good cost as well. Yeah, absolutely. Little, uh, you know, a little bit helps, right? Uh, we can all do a part. You don't have to think about uh, going from one extreme to the other, but small choices in our everyday lives can have a huge impact. I think every single person who gets a delivery gets one of these. And then you can use it to watch any 360 video, not only ours. Yeah. Tap to unmute. And then will it just automatically make it bigger? And yeah, put that in. Oh, good volume. It's too loud. <laughs> it's good. It's better if it's loud. It's so cool though. I feel really privileged. One of the first few people have tasted this through Food Panda delivery. Uh, if you want to know more, again, links are in the description box below. And we'll see you again here in Singapore. 